So if you're searching for LED lights to potentially add to your growing area, here at Tobacco University, I'm going to compare some common LED lighting options in relation to cannabis production. So let's get into comparing LED lights for cannabis production. So first off, the disclaimer, I have not received any financial compensation for writing the following product review. My, my opinions are provided, so take them for what they are worth. So as a standard for comparison, we'll be looking at the following lights are all full spectrum, which is the LED lights I feel are the best for cannabis plant production. For each grow light, I'll be providing the good, the bad, and recommendations. So first up is the Gavita CT1930E 780 watt light. PPF of 1930 micromoles uh, per second output for more crop uh, loving uh, light up to 20% eight energy savings versus a thousand watt double ended HPS fixture. Fits the traditional HPS layout. It's very uh, eff efficient with the efficacy of 2.5 moles uh, per second per watt. The bad is that it is expensive and it's limited light distribution because it's all these LEDs are in a relatively small area. It's best utilized when lighting a large area is not the main goal. Now, advantages, again, is that it doesn't have any um, fans. It does have cooling fins above it. Another light here by Gavita is their 1700E Generation 2 645 watt light. It does produce 1,700 micromoles per second uh, fixture, results in an impressive efficiency of 2.6 micromoles per second per watt. This causes a reduced in HVAC cost of 30 to 40 percent when compared to your traditional metal halide or high pressure sodium grow lights. IP660 wet rating and is UL8800 compliant for use in wet environments. The bad is its wide design may restrict its mounting options. It's best used when trying to evenly light a large area. So you want to keep that large relative structure level as well. Uh, the last one here to mention, again, it's just a very brief overview, would be the Fluence uh, Viper 2X and 2P. These are full spectrum and have been researched specifically for cannabis production. The downfall is, of course, the cost is uh, some of the higher in the industry. Uh, overall, it offers the best of both worlds, uh, and there is high par option for those who will be using the light in a carbon dioxide enriched environment, but really I would favor the full spectrum in this option. So if I was to only to pick one of these, I tend to favor uh, the Fluence, and I actually have uh, the plants here in the picture under Fluence light, the Viper 2X. Note that the 3X is not a full spectrum, so I prefer the 2X, uh, for example. This seems to fit most growing situations well, offers growers uh, grower-friendly options. However, Gavita is becoming a seriously competitor recently, so it is a worthy uh, comparison there. Again, the LED market is constantly changing, so you, you want to use these only as a source of general comparison and then make the best decision for what light is going to fit your particular growing conditions.